you hit the water, I hit some switches up here on the dash, the tires pop off, they float down the Ohio River, we never see them again. So, obviously, that's not true either. Okay, so here's what actually happens. We drive into the river, I take the wheels out of gear so they're not spinning underwater, and that's it. Okay, they don't fold, they don't tuck, they don't shoot missiles out the back, all right? It's not James Bond's car, it's an antique from World War II. All right, so you maybe look a little disappointed with that answer. It's not as exciting as you might have thought, all right? So here's my next most frequently asked question, and that is, how fast does this thing go, Bub? And they always call me Bub, and I don't know why. Well, Bub, have a look at the shoreline. Cap, bam, hold on the wheel real tight. We're going to answer the question. Ready? Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Oh, sweet, sweetness. Here we go. All right, now, do you hear that? Do you feel that? That's an hour. All right, we're at, like, 4 of 9 on the Enterprise, so I'm getting it all. She's gone, Captain. Don't sweat it, you get an excellent view of barges tied up over there in that lovely great building. Okay. Anyhow, it's usually around this point in the tour where it starts to lose everybody's attention because there's a lot more interesting stuff cropping up in the view than just my old mug chatting about a duck boat so we can talk about some of the stuff we got going on out here. Alright, so the number one most obvious would probably be Heinz Field.